Hey guys, it's Mo, and today I'm going to share with you how to turn tissue paper into a laminated type of dashboard guy for your planner. We're going to be doing this for a disc bound planner, a classic size disc bound planner, but you can do this for any planner you have, any size, you just have to measure it and cut it. So this is some tissue paper I have from the one of the Be Happy boxes from Happy Planner. Um, this side is a little bit more dull and then this side is vibrant because it's the tissue paper one side is gonna be more vibrant. Um, but I just laminated it under some three mil laminating pouches. I'm gonna turn my laminator on because we're gonna need that today. And I cut it with my Cricut Explore. And then I plan to use it in my Notique um, planner. I have a, what is this called? Like a frosted planner cover. I think it looks really nice and it's just a dashboard so it's the cl the size of a classic size paper. Um, you could make it the full size of your like planner to kind of have it as a back uh, to your planner cover um, but I like to keep the planner covers their size and then just make like a dashboard style thing. So today we're going to be using the tissue paper that I got in my Notique order and also three mil I believe these are the three mil. Hang on, I have a bunch of different laminating pouches up here. Okay, three mil. This one's a five mil. Okay, we're doing lots of projects. We're gonna use a three mil laminating pouch. And the reason I like the three mil is because it keeps it kind of soft and pliable and doesn't make it bulky. Um, and I think it works, I don't know, I think it makes it look the best, like a, like a vellum or an acetate or something even, you know, I think it just makes it look the best. I will say you do want to try and keep your tissue paper as like flat as possible. I know in shipping or whatever things can get creases, etc. I have some creases in here, but you can see it does, you can't really tell, you know, unless you have it reflecting in the light. And I think even, you can even tell you can tell even less if you have your planner cover like closed on top of it. So I think it's nice, I think it's fine. The Notique one came and stayed pretty pretty flat. So I'm gonna open this. I'll set this one aside. We're gonna work with this one and probably we only need like even this side. So I'm just gonna start by trimming this up A little bit I'm kind of cutting it on the fold that it was or where it was folded the fold that I had I don't know um, and I do have a review of my Notique planner um, up I believe I'm gonna pull this out because I think oh yeah that's gonna fit nicely so we can just cut this right in half and you can get like a thousand of these guys if you want out of your just gonna cut where it was folded again. You can even make a back, like a back dashboard. Um, in my setup for like my Christmas or holiday December planner, I shared that with you all. I'm gonna use actually this one because this looks like it has something right here. And this one looks a little bit better. Um, I made like a washi dashboard to put in the back so that because I had a clear cover so that when you turn it over it still looked Christmassy. But yeah, I think this is gonna fit perfectly. We probably can, we kinda wanna measure it off of this. Let's see, do we need to trim it? We don't even need to trim it. So, because of this Greek key pattern having specific like lines to it, I'm going to try my best to line it up evenly let's see here if that makes sense like make sure it's straight I guess is what I'm trying to get at make sure we don't get any hairs caught in there my things are like notorious for having hairs in them because of how sweetie sheds that didn't work Ooh. So I'm trying to line this up on my mat here. And like this is a straight line, I'm hoping. So I'm kind of trying to line this up. With other stuff, like with that cheetah print, you don't really have to be that um, precise. So 
line this up a little bit. We can we can use the lines of the Cricut as well to cut it a little bit better um, or line it up a little bit better too. And what you're going to do is we're just going to straight up cut this with our Cricut. Because this uh, um, paper, the tissue paper is so thin and we're only doing like a one one ply, like one layer, it's not going to be, um, it's not going to peel apart as easily. And we're not using this as something that's going to get a lot of use as a planner cover. It's just inside. That's also why I like to kind of trim it down to keep it protected. Um, so I have my laminator. I just got this off of Amazon. I don't think there's anything odd in it. If it is, it looks like it's around the um, perimeter, which isn't going to cut, so we'll run this through. And like, I don't know if I said this, but I like using the three mil rather than a five mil. Makes it more pliable. I think I did say this. Makes it more pliable. Um, kind of acts like a vellum or an acetate or something, rather as being so thick as the seven, the seven, the five mil. Um, I really would like to get a hotter, more industrial type laminator I guess so that I can make like 10 mil and make actual covers um but I don't know um another thing I'm going to do which I'll try and share with you all maybe in the um like a picture in the bottom in the description of this is I also want to print a like tortoise shell pattern or other patterns onto vellum and do this project with that because I think the vellum might be a little bit thicker but I think it'll come out the same way and even even if it is you can still you don't even have to laminate it so I don't even know why I was thinking that you would need to laminate it because vellum will be a little bit thicker you will just be using it as a dashboard so it might be okay to just have the vellum by itself I also and I'll link these down below found some plastic tortoise shell I've been seeing a lot the point of me saying tortoise shell and all this stuff is I've been seeing a lot of tortoise shell planner covers and dashboards and yada yada and I would like to have one I would like it in my life I want to have it and um but I can't find any to fit the classic size planner so I am going to be actually there is a hair in there well dang it um I am going to get those from Amazon. It's like a file, plastic file folder kind of thing, like how they used to sell at the dollar spot. We used to use those a lot to make planner stuff, dividers and whatnot. So, but these are like a plasticky style. I'm gonna cut that with my Cricut and see how that looks. I'll leave those linked below and I'll try and leave a picture of that as well. Um, but yeah, this is how you can, I'm sure we've got some fun tissue paper maybe left over from Christmas time, from the holiday time. Heck, if you're even just out and you see fun tissue paper, you could buy it. Heck, you could even just use a solid color tissue paper, and that would be really cool because I like how it's translucent, you know? So that would even be cool. So I'm going to meet you over on my computer, and then we will cut this, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so once you have your um, tissue paper or your vellum or whatever laminated, you're going to then want to cut it with your Cricut. Uh, you can use your Silhouette. I like my Cricut because I know it can cut through um, like thicker materials. So you're going to need this set uh, from the shop. And then you're also going to need this. You're not also going to need it. It comes in the set. But this is the one we're going to work with, the classic size. Obviously, you can make any size dashboard that you want. But this is going to be a dashboard for the classic size um, disc bound planner. So we'll go to Cricut Design Space. And we're going to go to Upload. I've already uploaded it. I'm sure you guys know how to upload stuff to um, Design Space. I'm going to go in and find it, which it's probably all the way down here. Yep, this one. Insert Images. And then we want to make it seven inches wide. If you keep the uh, proportions locked and change this to seven inches, it'll become seven inches wide. Then you want to hit make it and send it to your Cricut. I usually use the poster board plus setting, especially for three mil um, laminating sheets. And I think that's kind of what you maybe want to use here um, for this project. You don't want it to be too thick. And then you also don't want, um, you want the, the laminating to adhere. The paper, tissue paper is pretty thin. The vellum is pretty thin. So you want to make sure um, that everything is adhering because um, you're just going to cut this straight out after you laminate it. And that's the beauty of doing something with like double-sided um, cardstock 
or something like this where you're only laminating one layer and then so you can just cut from the laminate and everything's going to stick together um, so you'll just put it on your Cricut mat you'll hit continue send it to your Cricut like I said I copy with or I cut with the poster board plus and once that's done I'll meet you back over and we will I'll show you the finished product show you how it fits in how pretty and nicely it looks and yeah oh my gosh guys my um Cricut was like mm, I don't I don't want to do this I can't with the Bluetooth and I was like excuse me <laughs> so I had to connect it with a printer um, connection thing was that like the cord it just uses the printer cord you don't have to use the exact one that came with your Cricut so I had to unplug my printer I don't know son but I got this cut and I wanted to show you that I kind of lined it up I moved it over to the side and I kind of lined up this line here with the line of the one so that it would be a little bit straight, I'm hoping. We'll see. I'm just going to pull this off. And I cut this on the poster board plus setting, uh, which seems to work out all right for stuff like this. And yeah, I think it cut pretty straight. So get rid of my Cricut mat here. You should see, you should see my desk. So I'm just going to pop this in here. But yeah, like it's just a little bit flimsy, pliable. I don't know. Pop this in here. You could even put like a decal on this if you wanted to. But like, look how nice that is. And now you have it to, like to match your Notique stuff. That is so pretty. And then, I don't know. But you can see like how translucent that is. If you want to get some layering, you could get some layering going on. So yeah. Um, again, you're just laminating tissue paper. So I don't know. They make a bunch of cute tissue papers now, I think. Um, so if you get one as a gift or you buy some to give in a gift or maybe this is an excuse to buy fancy tissue paper when you give a gift so that you'll have tissue paper to make something out of. Um, but, oh yeah, this is so nice. And I have a butt ton left over. So if you get an Otique order, you can make a bunch of these different planner sizes that you have. Um, a bunch of them and the good thing about no, the Nautique order is it comes um pretty flat like I guess at one point my happy planner stuff was flat but then I tried to store it because I didn't know what to do with it but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video um again I'm going to try and leave down below maybe a picture of the tortoiseshell thing that I'm going to work on um but yeah if you like this video hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out stick around check out more of the Cricut related videos for planner DIYs that I have on my channel and yeah I will talk to you on my next video thanks for watching bye